Hello guys, so welcome back to another video. And so for today's vlog, we will be fixing another trouble from our scrubber which is giving the frequency converter alarm. So come and join me in this new learning. So I was called to check our scrubber because it is giving this frequency converter not ready alarm. So I went down to check the condition of this variable frequency drive. So I bring all my multimeters and insulation resistance tester to be ready once we will be checking this one. So when I get there, it was off. And then I need to check what made this variable frequency drive to be off. So I check all the breakers and after opening the panel, these are the condition of our breakers. The breaker for number one and number two are tripped. So this is not a good sign since it is showing burnt and it means we have a short circuit into our system. So as a good advice, better to check first if you have an incoming voltage and outgoing voltage. This is for your own safety since they are tripped the voltage might also be going to your output line. So when I check, good thing that we only have onto the incoming and on the output, it is zero volts. The best safety tips that I can give you is if you have a trip breaker, do not try to switch it back on unless you know the root cause of the problem. Because in this situation, it is showing a signs of burn it means that there is a short circuit onto the system so for your own safety isolate the breaker put the tagging and then check the condition of your load so i open the variable frequency drive and this is what i found out one of its terminal and cable was burnt and so I did a further investigation and found out that this terminal looks like a loose connection and made our system to have a single facing. That is why our variable frequency drive got burnt. This could be from a loose connection or vibration or it was not tightened properly during installation. And so for our next step, we need now to check the condition of our electrical motor since we have a burnt uh, frequency drive so we might as well check the condition of the windings of our electrical motor because that single facing might have had affected the winding of our electrical motor so let's open the panel and check the terminals of this electrical motor this scrubber was installed last year during the vessel dry dock and so far we are facing numerous troubles which i am willing to share with you the troubleshooting that i am doing on board so we will open the terminal box of this one and then we will check the insulation resistance of our electrical motor but before touching anything please check if the terminals are having voltage or not this is for your own safety and after that i used my insulation resistance tester to check line to ground this is to check the condition of our terminals for the motor the windings line to ground as well as the cables and after checking i found out that line to ground is giving me more than 550 mega ohms which is a good sign that we don't have earth fault or grounding onto our electrical motor so after checking the insulation resistance of our line to ground i need now to dismantle or remove the cables from the terminals and the plates this is to isolate the condition of the cable and our electrical motor winding so that Later, once we will test or check the condition of the winding, we are only measuring the windings, not including the cable. So for better understanding, 
this is the way how it looks like inside these are the cables where the cables are connected and then we have another sets of terminals and the connections inside the plate are like this so this only means that we are connected in the delta connection all right and the reason why i am removing the wires is for us to separate the condition of the cable and the condition of the motor itself that's why i remove these cables so in order for us to measure the insulation resistance or the condition of the winding is to actually remove also the plates so that in return it will be like this so the cable tagging are u1 v1 w1 and this is the w2 u2 and v2 so actually inside the windings are like this all right and to measure the insulation resistance and the or the condition of the winding we will just put our tester here and here and you should get a good continuity let's say 0 0.2 ohms same as this and this your multimeter and this and this for your multimeter In this way if you will get this range 0 0.2 or 3 ohms then you'll have a good value this should all be equal to each other and in this way after checking our system this is in good condition after checking the continuity of our windings i found out that the electrical motor is still in good condition i am sorry guys if i didn't have the time to make a good animation for our insulation resistance test and continuity check onto our terminals because i'm quite busy now on board and for now we will be replacing the power cable and the variable frequency drive as well as that circuit breaker because they are in a very bad condition and that's it guys i hope you learned something from this video and please keep supporting this channel and i will give you a further update about our scrubber so see you on my next vlog